Today, we're checking out the most satisfying experiments ever done in Minecraft. In this video, we are going to be looking at a bunch Whoa. of different satisfying experiments oh, that you can nice. do in Minecraft. Starting with a single warden who really wants to kill me, but he can't. So we- I literally hate wardens. What is my least favorite mob in the entire game? How could this possibly be satisfying? Does this, which is cool and all, but it isn't satisfying. So what I will agree. happen if I spawn a hundred wardens and have them do the same thing? Oh, whoa! Oh my god, I'm pretty sure I went so high that it bounced. Bro! And sure, that was satisfying, but not as satisfying as cutting down bamboo that in was this actually bamboo sick. only world. Which I actually can't stop doing. And what's even more insane is whoa. watching this from above, just like covering the entire- The best part about bamboo is when you break it and then you look up and you see go all the way up. That is like the greatest thing Minecraft has ever added into the game. World and skull. Oh, which you can do with the help of a couple stuff. million ravagers and a skull catalyst. And now we wait as the entire world turns into skull. Wait, wait if you just- Spawn in Ravagers with Skulk, it spreads anywhere? I didn't even know that. I wonder what would happen if I added even more of these. Okay, I think I broke it. Oh There's my a literal gosh. Ravager fountain coming from the sky. Oh my god. This is that is not satisfying. That was just terrifying, bro. If you saw that in your real world, you are just making a 180 and sprinting as fast as you possibly can. A chest full of random materials, which if placed a bunch of times like this, you can break Ooh. all the chests and watch all the items fall out, which looks pretty nice. Wow, but the best part of this is isn't nice. the items falling. It's picking them up, which sounds super Super satisfying. I could literally do this for hours. That just did something to me. That just did something to my brain. I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it. Someone help. Someone help. Oh, okay. I'm back. Wow. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Something else you can do is place a bunch of shulkers full of netherite above a lava pool. And then when uh -huh. you break them, this happens. Wow. And if you use a command block to place an infinite block like this, wow. and then you use another command block to give yourself a one durability pickaxe every tick, you can infinitely break pickaxes, Whoa. which makes this very satisfying sound. Uh-oh, I think I'm sick. I'm throwing up pickaxes. This is working. Dude, that is so cool. What the heck? And whoa, look at this one. There's like sand that is like a, a one-tenth of a block higher than the grass block. How did he do that? In quicksand in Minecraft, oh, which quicksand. can be made using this secret formula. Oh. First, you place some soul sand on the bottom. Bottom. Then you place some water above, and then you place some cobwebs on top of all that. And after that, you need to just place some sand on top that's ready to be dropped in. And I'm sorry, but how on earth is quicksand ever satisfying? That is like my worst nightmare. That is the worst way to ever die. You're just slowly drowning in sand until you you get suffocated. That I, doesn't get any worse. I don't think so. And now you can drop the sand and watch it all fall into place, which is uh, pretty satisfying. Okay, after that, nice. you have a working quicksand that you that can't escape. Nice. But that's not the most satisfying part. If you remove the cobwebs like this and then drop some more sand on the top, you can make this really cool bubbling Whoa! effect which looks like it doesn't even belong no way. in the game. This effect- No way! No, 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 no. That does not- Someone confirmed that that actually is how it works because I've never seen that before. There's no- How have I never seen that before? There's no way. When you drop sand in the water, it just sinks. It doesn't bob up and down like that. effect can also be used in a square like this, which looks pretty nice, especially when all what? the sand and gravel breaks at the end. Or you- That is not a thing! That is literally not a thing. You can drop a line of sand and gravel like this, which kind of looks like a worm when it first drops. Since Another when? thing I found that looks pretty cool is this concrete powder turning to concrete like this. Oh, and I also cool. tried it in a line, which looks pretty nice as well. Nice. This is a village that has a massive I don't know how the concrete powder was getting destroyed though. It was just disappearing. Amount of dripstone above it, which is already kind of cool to look okay. at. And I'm going to be dropping the dripstone on the village using this machine here. Oh my- That is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen for a village. Imagine that was just on top of your entire town. Just a bunch of spikes ready to be dropped just by pulling a trigger. My god, oh, I think gosh. my PC is going to explode. Oh, Hopefully gosh. it looks good on replay because I literally can't see anything. Okay, wow. somehow we actually had a couple of survivors this time. But I'm going to add a layer insane. of anvils, I was sand, say, and gravel to drop on the village as well. And I was going to say you should do anvils, bro. That's going to be like the same thing. What is worse, having dripstone drop on your head or an anvil? I don't know. Now let's spawn Timothy. Hopefully he survives. No way. Okay, first let's no. Way. Comment down below right now if you think Timothy survives this. I think there's no chance. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Timothy. Oh, boy. That was much less laggy. Now let's add some sand. Wow. It's looking like okay, bikini bottom nice. down there. And finally, the gravel. Okay, there's no way Timothy survived all that. Oh, wait, he's actually right here. What? Honestly, doing that no had me way. feeling he's like alive. I was nine years old again, so let's try some things we all did as kids lava? in Minecraft. Lava? It's gotta be First, lava First, I'm now. going to be burning down oh, a forest. Okay. okay, I mean, I guess okay, this is taking forever. Okay. I guess I have to do it the old-fashioned way. 
Now that's some good forest burning. <laughs> what about blowing up a ton of no, TNT? No, 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 no. I've tried these before and my computer literally exploded. I was sent to the hospital. I lost three toes. I didn't actually. But uh, it did crash my game. Oh I my think this was a god. Mistake. Yep, I knew it, dude. Like That's this, what happened and then to me. Place a repeating command block to spawn zombies. You can make an infinitely dying zombie. Oh my That's not gosh. what I meant to do. What you can actually do is spawn a bunch of zombies inside of the box, and then you can kill them all with a sweeping edge 100 sword, and it's honestly pretty satisfying. I wonder. Well, that's actually a real thing. Like you can make zombie farms and skeleton farms, any type of farm you want, and you can make it so that they all pile up like that. With and then with one sweep, bingo, they all just die, and it's the most amazing thing ever. I remember way back in the day, I made a zombie pit farm that was like eight layers high and all I had to do was sit in a mine car and would just go back and forth and it was the most amazing time of my life. I think I got to level like a thousand one hundred because I just left my PC running while I went to school. What happens if we make the box even bigger? Wow. Okay, that was so much better. That's Another satisfying nice. way to kill a bunch of mobs is with a piercing crossbow. But this oh. crossbow isn't gonna cut it. It only killed four of them. We need a max piercing crossbow. All right, and let's kill the villagers in three, two, one. Oh! Okay, it didn't reach the end, but we'll just pretend it did. Whoa, what happens if that reminds me of Nick A30. He used to do that with in Fortnite with cars. He would just run through a bunch of people. <laughs> you break these plants that go up to sky limit. Oh yeah. It's literally See, that's what raining I was saying earlier about bamboo. Vines. Now let's do the cactus. So satisfying. Okay, Ugh. that one actually looked kind of nice. What about the sugar cane? Whatever this thing is. Oh, and finally yeah. bamboo. Dude, bamboo, bamboo is the best. definitely has my favorite sound yep, out of bamboo these. Bamboo is the Something best, Something that bro. might sound better is a massive dripstone hitting the ground. Okay, let's just use this genius uh, redstone timer to make sure we don't miss the sound. And now we fall all the way to the bottom. Oh. I like how it just gets faster the more oh. that fall. Apparently, if you oh. place a bunch of end crystals- Oh, wow. thank god he cut right there, because holy guacamole, that was the most satisfying thing yet. ...side of each other, it looks really satisfying. But it doesn't seem to be working for me, so I guess we have to use a command block. I think we placed them on the Wait, wrong block, what? but it's definitely working. This thing actually Whoa. looks so cool. I can't believe this is in Minecraft. Bro, that looks insane! If you told me 30 minutes ago that this was in vanilla Minecraft with no mods, I would not believe you. I would have literally no idea what the heck that is. Wait, I wonder what happens if we touch it. Uh, For this next uh, one, let's build a giant cactus death. farm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just watching them pop up all over oh, the place is really satisfying. Is Another nice. satisfying thing we can do is Reminds place skull sensors days. in a row like this. And then we can fill all the empty slots up with TNT. And now finally, if we drop an item on it, it makes this really cool pulsing Whoa, effect. Oh, what? Oh yeah, I forgot it would all blow up. For this next experiment, Bro. we are going to need a massive pyramid. So let's build that. Okay, that literally took me almost 30 minutes and I didn't even finish it. But now what we can do is place water in oh. the middle yeah. and watch it all flow down the pyramid oh, was that worth nice. the 30 minute wait definitely probably not. not we can also drain all the water as well but it's definitely not as satisfying as that's watching still it flow cool. down the pyramid that's earlier still we cool. dropped a bunch of anvils on a village but i wonder what it would look like if we dropped it on a regular world okay it kind of just started i didn't mean for that to happen <laughs> But yeah, that was still pretty cool. Now let's take a break from experiments and check out some of the most satisfying oh, maps droppers. in Minecraft. These are- Dude, I know some of these, bro! There's like optical illusions that you can make in Minecraft. Some of these look like they're circular things, but they're really not! Unless these actually are, and I'm tripping. Seven colored rings made so by cool. Bosco Winks. Wow. And when you fly through them one after another, it's actually really cool to look at. Just like this massive spiral wow. made by Amy Oak, which looks especially cool if you fly through it with an elytra oh like this. Oh my gosh! This is an island in the shape of a Mobius a strip that was what? also made by Amy Oak, which I honestly how? have no idea how it works, but it's definitely really satisfying to look it, at. That is and another thing illusion. that I don't understand is this Penrose triangle made by Alaskata, which also looks really cool from far away. Wait, I wonder what will happen if I turn it to sand. These next three- Okay, I don't want to ruin anyone's creations because I'm sure that, that they were all very difficult to make, but I'm pretty sure you can just import objects from like Blender or other programs into Minecraft and then it'll make it for you. So like, I don't I don't want to ruin anyone's parade, but I'm pretty sure those builds were just made through another program and then they just kind of spawned it in. Three builds were made by Adamax EP. And these are more like illusions, but they are still really satisfying to Illusions look at, of Minecraft are so one, cool. Which will probably make you dizzy oh, if you spin don't do that. fast That's enough. not satisfying. That deserves my Name tag on a sheep, it makes it rainbow. So I wonder True. what will happen if I make a big pit and fill it with Jeb sheep. This is pretty normal. I see this every day in survival. Okay, now Ooh. this is insane. You can barely even tell that there are sheep in the hole. Are Next, let's create a sand-only world and see what happens. Oh wait, I have to break the block first. Oh! 
Whoa. There's a short amount of time before it becomes way too laggy. <laughs> so now let's make it laggier with sick. concrete. This would probably look so oh cool my if it wasn't gosh. a slideshow. Next, I decided to make a sapling-only world, that and watching cool. them grow was actually really satisfying. Sapling I can't world. move on until all the holes are filled. Another experiment <laughs> similar to this idea is making a drip leaf only world. I honestly had no idea what would happen Whoa. with this one, but it's probably one of my favorites so far. That's and the last cool. world I made was a cactus only world, but it didn't really go well, so we'll just move on. <laughs> if you place two slabs like this, instantly. and then you push them together with a piston, you can make an illegal slab. So what? I wonder- No way you can do that. Bro, I'm trying to use that building technique for so long where you pull one slab on top of another that are different types of slabs, and it's never worked. It, there's no way that's true, right? There's no way you can actually do that. Not that I'm a good builder, but if this is true, my entire building knowledge will be changed forever. What it would look like if we copied the build a bunch of times to make a wall of illegal slabs. Honestly, Whoa. I'm not sure if this is satisfying, but it's definitely pretty uh, that's cool. I think it's very really satisfying. Like, picking so up a ton sick. of XP can also be pretty satisfying. Okay, it just won't stop. It's been doing this for like five <laughs> minutes. And for the last experiment, I decided to put some bees in a nest. A lot of bees. Okay, if we set it to day, they should all come out at the same time. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I don't even know if that was satisfying. It's kind of unsettling, actually. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and click right here to watch another awesome video.